Hey guys, my name is Eitan, I'm a sound designer for motion pictures and I'm doing this short series of videos on how to improve your audio as a video editor. So today I'm going to talk about a compressor and how to use it in order to improve voice recordings. So let's say for example that you're working on a project and there is a specific part where the voice is not loud enough or is not clear enough or if you're working on a low budget project and the sound is on you, how to use a compressor in order to, first of all, balance the volume throughout the voice recordings and how to make it more present and basically louder. So first of all, what is a compressor? A compressor is a tool that we use in audio production in order to decrease the dynamic range. So the dynamic range is the difference between the quietest sounds and the loudest sounds. Let's listen to an example. Hello everyone, I'm back. And today, let's talk about ink and fashion. All right, so it sounds okay, but as soon as I add a background music. Hello everyone, I'm back. And today, let's talk about ink and fashion. You can clearly hear that there is a difference between the loud syllables and the quiet syllables. And this difference, it's quite big. So we are going to try and fix that with a compressor. Now, obviously, the best thing to do is just to manually start changing the volume automations, but I know you're not going to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a much easier way using a compressor. So the first thing we're going to do is to uh, decrease the threshold. So the threshold is basically uh, taking the loudest sounds and just starting to decrease their loudness, all right? So then we have a smaller dynamic range, all right? So listen to how it sounds. Hello everyone, I'm back. And today let's talk about ink and fashion. All right, so now we have a, a smaller dynamic range, which means that the difference between the quietest parts and the loudest parts is smaller, but the overall loudness of the clip has reduced, all right? So in order to bring this level back up, we are going to use the output gain or in some other compressor, it's called the makeup gain. So I'm going to do that while listening to the background music. Hello everyone, I'm back. And today let's talk about ink and fashion. Hello everyone, I'm back. And today let's talk about ink and fashion. All right, so that's much better. Now that we know what a compressor does, I'm going to uh, dive through all these settings so that you can understand exactly what you're doing when you tweak those. All right, so in order to do this, I'm going to use Pro Tools. All right, so now we're in Pro Tools and I'm going to explain the different settings using the Renaissance compressor of a company called Waves. So I'm using this specific compressor because I think it's more visual than other compressors you can find in Premiere. But basically, threshold, ratio, gain, attack and release are settings that you are going to find in almost any compressor. So let's start with the ratio. The ratio determines how many reduction will be applied by the compressor once the signal rises above the threshold. So if, for example, my threshold is minus 20 and my ratio is two, for any, D, for any 2 dB above minus 20, it will be reduced by 1 dB. So basically what we receive after a compression is a reduction in loudness. And that's where we can use the makeup gain or output level in order to increase the gain. Now let's talk about attack and release. Attack is basically how fast do you want the compressor to start working, to start compressing as soon as the signal uh, comes into the compressor. And release is how slow do you want it to stop. So let's do a small uh, example. All right, so for example, if I do the release, very, very uh, small release. Ink and fashion. And let's just uh, do very drastic things with the threshold and ratio, just so we can have a visual representation. Ink and fashion. All right, so. Ink and fashion. As soon as the signal stops, the compressor comes back to zero. Now, if I do a very, very long release, and fashion. it will slowly, 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 slowly come back. All right, so uh, if we go back to Premiere, 
what settings do we actually need to use? So first of all, attack and release, I wouldn't touch it. Like I would just leave like 10 milliseconds or increase it to 20 to make the compressor a little bit uh, less aggressive. But basically I would just start tweaking the ratio to about two, three, four, five, but no more than five. And then just listen to the audio and start tweaking the threshold. Hello everyone, I'm back. And today let's talk about ink and fashion. Hello everyone, I'm back. And today let's talk about ink and fashion. All right, so once you hear that there is less difference between the loud syllables and the quiet syllables, you can add the other background sounds. Hello everyone, I'm back. And start increasing the output gain. Hello everyone, I'm back. And today, let's talk about ink and fashion. And that's it, it's very easy. Now, if you want to go a, a little further, you can use inside dynamics, you have a tool called an expander because once you uh, decrease the dynamic range and you increase the loudness, you will also hear the background noises become a little bit more uh, audible. So I'm going to use an expander in order to make those sounds more quiet. So let's listen without the expander. Hello everyone, I'm back. And today let's talk about ink and fashion. All right, so a lot of noise, but as soon as I use the expander. Hello everyone, I'm back. And today let's talk about ink and fashion. All right, so it's much better. I don't know if you can hear that through YouTube. Hello everyone, I'm back. And today let's talk about ink and fashion. All right. So that's it. If you have any questions, comment below. Bye-bye.